How long do you need to affirm before you get your manifestation? Hello, beautiful soul. Welcome back to my channel. This is Priya, your manifestation coach. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down how long do you need to affirm for in order to manifest anything that your heart desires. But first, if you are somebody who would like some accountability, some inspiration, and you would really like to stay on top of your game and stay consistent when it comes to manifesting anything that your heart desires, I offer monthly membership coaching. This is where you will get live coaching with me on a weekly basis and you can get your questions answered by me in real time. I also offer an online course, Manifest Your SP Mastery, that you can get instant access to by clicking the link below in the description box. And finally, I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching to help you manifest anything that your heart desires. Again, you can get access to this by clicking the link below in the description box. Okay, let's get back to this video. How long do you need to affirm for in order to manifest your desires? So let's take an example here. Let's say that you want to manifest your specific person because that's what <laughs> all of you ask for, like in the comment section. But this applies to anything that you're manifesting, whether it's a new car, um, a new house, the perfect body, um, better health, anything that you want to manifest, it, it, it applies the same. But let's take the example of a specific person. The key is you want to continue to affirm until you get your manifestation. And even then, even then, you sometimes still need to affirm after you get your manifestation. So let me explain. Let's go back to some basics here. In order to manifest anything that you want, it's first important to understand that your thoughts create your reality. So you're always manifesting whether you are aware of it or not, whether you're conscious of it or not, you are manifesting 24 seven. It's not something that you can turn off. You have been manifesting since the day that you were born, even before you were born, you were manifesting from like non-physical, but your thoughts create your reality. So whatever it is that you are thinking, your 3D reality is reflecting that back to you. Right? This is like spiritual law, whether you believe in manifestation or not. So when it comes to manifesting whatever it is that you want, the fastest way that I have found to do this is to come up with some affirmations that imply your end. So all you have to do is think as if you're the version of you that has your manifestation and you do this through affirmations, right? Remember that affirmations are just the thoughts that you are thinking. So we are thinking at least 70,000 thoughts on average per day, which means you're affirming at least 70,000 times a day. And the question is, what are you affirming? So in order to manifest whatever it is you want, you have to think from the end. Think as if you're the version of you that has your manifestation. So again, let's take the example of a specific person that you want to manifest. So let's say, for example, the, your affirmations are, me and my specific person are in a loving, committed relationship. I'm always prioritized. I'm always chosen. I'm always loved. It's always good to have like self-concept as well in there. Um, and so you begin to repeat these affirmations over and over and over again in your mind. So when you saturate your subconscious mind with this new story that implies you're the version of you that has your specific person, so that these new stories become the dominant stories within you, dominant meaning you're telling the new story more than you're telling the old story, the old story being I'm not worthy, um, SP hates me, I'm not good enough, I'm not lovable, whatever that is for you, okay? When you tell the new story more than you're telling the old story, your subconscious mind must produce proof of this to you in your 3D reality. It is law. This is when you'll manifest the version of your specific person or the car, the house, the money, the better health, et cetera, et cetera, into your 3D reality. So it's all to do with what is going on up in here. So when it comes to how much do you need to affirm? Well, if it's not in your reality yet, if you don't have your manifestation yet, then you want to continue to persist, right? So you don't stop affirming until you get your manifestation. The truth is you are in control of the timing of your manifestation, right? So how fast your manifestation shows up in your reality is completely contingent upon how fast you saturate your subconscious mind with the new story that implies you're the version of you that has your manifestation. There's no such thing as like divine timing in the sense that there's something outside of you controlling when you can get what you want. None of that is happening, okay? You are always in control of the timing of um, your manifestation, I'm not going to go into why divine timing is actually not true. I already have a video on that that you can check out on my channel where I go deeper into that. But 
effectively you are in control of the timing. So the more you think as if you're the version of you that has your manifestation, the faster it will show up in your reality. So you want to keep affirming as much as possible until your manifestation shows up in your 3D reality. That is the key. Now, once the manifestation shows up in your reality, for some people, you're still going to need to affirm. And here's why. Your manifestation will happen at the level where you make the new story dominant within you. No, I said like dominant, right? You don't even have to believe your affirmations, right? You just need to keep repeating them because what you focus on, what you give your attention to will show up in your reality. So you don't even need to believe your affirmations, but you just need to keep repeating that. Just become so conscious of this new story, which you're doing when you are like repeating the story, the new story. So you will get your manifestation at the level where the new story is dominant within you, okay? But this doesn't mean that it's an assumption or that it's like your new belief. And the idea is you want to keep persisting with your new affirmations until it becomes your new assumption, until it becomes a belief. Now, what is an assumption and what is a belief? It's when something feels natural and normal to you, when it's who you are on autopilot. You don't even have to think about it anymore. It's just naturally who you are. It's what you expect. And so the idea is you want to keep affirming until you're at the point where it is a new assumption, where your new story is an assumption. It is who you are on autopilot. It feels natural and normal to you. And so what will happen is, and it doesn't have to happen this way, but if you're just repeating the affirmations till it becomes the new dominant story, more likely than not, this is how I've experienced it. So you will get the manifestation And when you get the manifestation, this solidifies your belief in it, right? And it makes it easier for you to now um, begin to think, oh, this is my new norm. But you might still have some doubts that creep in, right? Oh, well, what if I lose this? What if it doesn't work? And so the idea is you want to keep persisting, right? If those doubts come in, it's because you are not yet the version of you that... Um, knows for a fact that that this is the new you. You haven't normalized your new story yet. And so the idea is you keep persisting. You don't stop. So even when you get the manifestation, if any kind of doubts that creep in or worry that, you know, um, this isn't going to last or whatever, you keep persisting with your affirmations, although you have your manifestation until it becomes normal to you. And you will know when that is because you will not be able to fathom anything less. Like when your new story of I'm lovable, I'm good enough, my specific person loves me, we're in a happy, committed relationship. When that is normalized to you, you will know it because you cannot fathom anything less. Like it doesn't even make sense to you to think anything less. You cannot even fathom it, right? And that's when you know, oh, okay, this is now an assumption. This is now my new belief. This is now my new norm. And that's when you actually stop affirming, right? So my message here is you always get your manifestation at the point of where uh, it's the dominant story that you've been telling. But in order to sustain the manifestation, in order to keep the manifestation, you want it to become a belief. You want it to become an assumption where it's like an expectation. It's your new norm. It's who you are on autopilot. And in order to get to that level, you're going to have to keep persisting until it becomes normal to you. And you will know that because you will no more have you will no longer have any like doubts or fears such as like, what if this doesn't last? Um, you know, what if I can't keep the manifestation? If those thoughts come up when you have the manifestation, you don't need to panic. All, all that means is you just keep persisting with the new story, right? It's not yet an assumption. That's all you need to do. It's that like simple. So I hope that makes sense to recap, <laughs> to answer the question of how long do you need to affirm for? Well, You affirm until your new story becomes an assumption, until it becomes your new norm, until until it becomes who you are on autopilot. Okay. That's the key. Like if you want to be able to like sustain and like keep the manifestation. Um, and in terms of like how much should you affirm and all those things, you want to affirm as much as possible, right? Anytime the topic of whatever it is that you're manifesting comes to mind, so whether it's a topic of your SP or money or like better health, anytime that topic comes to your mind, the only thoughts that you should be thinking is you should be thinking from the end. And that's why you have your affirmations ready so that you're just constantly thinking from the end. And if you can, definitely put aside like um, a routine where you actually focus on these affirmations to really saturate your mind so that you know that, oh yeah, this is now who I am. You absolutely want to be doing that. 
because again, you want to remember that you are in control of the timing of your manifestation. So if you want what you want as fast as possible, well, then you are going to focus on saturating your subconscious mind with the new story as much as possible. And even when you get your manifestation, if it's not yet an assumption, you want to keep persisting with your affirmations until it becomes an assumption. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for being here. I love you. I appreciate you. Have a beautiful day or a wonderful evening. Mwah.